हे ऑल अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई होप यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट इट रेन रिगरसली लास्ट नाइट एज अ रिजल्ट द मॉर्निंग वॉज वेरी ब्यूटिफुल सो एज सुन एज आई गॉट अप आई केम स्ट्रेट इन टू द किचन टू मेक ब्रेकफास्ट एंड लंच फॉर माई किड्स एक्चुअली आई वॉश माई कॉन्टर टॉप एंड हॉब एवरी नाइट बिफोर गोइंग टू द स्लीप सो आई वॉज सेटिंग एवरी थिंग For breakfast today, I am making French toast. For that, I have broke an egg into a bowl and whisked it properly, and added half cup of milk into it. I then added two tablespoon of cream. It's optional. If you don't have, you can skip it too. I then added two tablespoon of sugar and whisked everything very nicely. I applied the butter on the pan and dipped the bread slices into the mixture and I then placed it on the pan. I will cook it on the low flame so that the bread uh, becomes crispier from outside. While the fresh toast was cooking, I helped my kids in getting ready to the school. Usually when the kids have school my mornings are very busy sometimes i stand in the kitchen and cook and at the other time i go to my kids and help them in getting ready and all the mothers out there can relate to my situation even though my husband helps me a lot in making the kids get ready but there are some things that can only be done by the housewives or the mothers Soon after the kids leave for school the first thing that i do is to bring my home in order in morning hurry everything is placed here and there so i put them all back in their places After finishing all the chores, I then spend some time with myself and the nature.
After getting freshened up, I then made a nice warm oats porridge for myself. I think everyone knows how to make oats porridge, but uh, let me tell you how I make. In a pan, I have added half cup of oats. I roasted them for some time, and I then added half cup of milk along with one fourth cup of water. I then added uh, three to four strands of saffron. I like uh, if you want, you can skip it too. I also added two to three chopped dates. This porridge gets ready in no time and it's a good option if you are diet conscious. I usually add 1 tablespoon of peanut butter along with little honey. Actually, for my kids' lunch today, I made pasta, so serving the same as breakfast for my husband. Soon after having breakfast, me and my husband came to buy groceries. Actually, I'm not a grocery person. I mean, my husband usually does the grocery. I do send him the list and he gets everything. We usually buy the groceries from the Dmart store that is near to our home. After taking some rest, I then organized everything and put them back at their places.
Now, these are the instant oats packet. My mother-in-law sometimes uh, have it for breakfast. So, I bring it for her and keep it in the stock. Now, about this uh, paper towel roll. Actually, it's very thin material uh, that is used for cleaning the kitchen. It can be uh, washed and reused up to 100 times. I previously had one, so bought another one. You can easily find in any demand store. Now, I also bought this dusting stick that can be increased or decreased in its size. I must say it is very useful item. It is used for cleaning the kitchen cabinet or the things that are placed at height and where you cannot reach by standing. As soon as I bought this dusting stick, I wanted to give it a try and started cleaning the cabinets and ended up cleaning the entire kitchen. The one major change that I felt from rented apartment to our own house is that you put extra effort in cleaning each and everything of your house. And when you put any new electronics or new furniture in your home, the workload for cleaning them also increases. Actually, I don't apply any liquid cleaner on my cabinets, so I'm cleaning with a dry cloth. I'm looking for the wood cleaner. If you guys know any product that can be used for cleaning the kitchen cabinets, do let me know in the comment section so that I can use it too. So this was it for today's vlog. I hope you all really enjoyed my vlog. If so, please do let me know in the comment section. I will meet you all in my next vlog. Until then, stay safe.